That's it, that's the Premier League done for today. You had Leeds United who beat Burnley 1 0, Patrick Bamford with a penalty, which in my opinion is fucking fraudulent. It shouldn't have been a penalty in the first place. He did bury it though, brilliant penalty. And then Burnley denies what I think is a perfectly acceptable um, equaliser or leveller, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think the fouls on goalkeepers are given way too easily. For some reason, goalkeepers are wrapped in cotton wool with referees and they never want to give fouls. Um, you know, they never want to give challenges against them. If you tap the goalkeeper these days, apparently it's a foul. It's fucking ridiculous. I think he's challenging for the ball. His eyes are on the ball. He's in no way or has any intention to foul the goalkeeper. And it's fucking ridiculous that it's been given a foul and Burnley's goal has been cancelled out because that would have been an important point for them. Um, I like Leeds, don't get me wrong, but when something's, you know, that fucking stupid, then you have to say that that's fucking stupid. And not being able to challenge goalkeepers is fucking stupid. And then you had West Ham versus Brighton, a very good game that ended 2 all. That'll be a, you know, a crucial point for Brighton. Um, but West Ham will feel that that's points dropped. Liverpool and West Brom ended one all, And for Liverpool, it's very much a case of points were dropped. They were fucking... I don't want to say they were abysmal, but they were wasteful. And they didn't take the chances that they should have took. And we should have been four or five nil up going into half time. And to be honest, we knew that we would rue not taking those opportunities. I was sat there watching with my brother and my uncle and we and we, we were saying that we're gonna we're gonna regret not scoring those goals. And we did eventually regret not scoring those goals. And it was of course a header from a corner. Uh, I think in the 82nd minute to to level it up, and from a you know from a West Brom point of view, it was perfect. It was exactly the game plan that Big Sam would have gone and told them to do, and you know they they have to do what they have to do, Bad and Sam. Big, Big Sam will will set up how he wants to, and everyone knows how he's going to set up, and yet we still didn't take the chances. Sadio done the celebration again, which was nice. It was nice to see wholesome moment, but uh, it would have been better. If we took all three points away and we didn't, and that's our fault, and um, we should have finished those chances. But congratulations to West Brom for getting the points. It was a very well deserved point in the end. They played their game plan to perfection, and there's no complaints from me um, from a West Brom perspective, from a Liverpool perspective. We should have finished the chances. Um, yeah, it was very wasteful from the boys today. But. It wasn't all bad because Wolves and Tottenham ended up getting a draw. And uh, Saiz is the hero. And Fabio Silva could have made it even worse for Tottenham by burying the chance right at the, right at the end. But it, it wasn't to be. And for Tottenham, what the fuck is going on? You, you know, you can't go 1-0 up and then sit on that for, you know, 89 minutes or what ultimately proved to be, you know, 94 minutes because of the six minutes at a time. You know, you, you can't you can't do that. You can't, you can't sit... On a, you know, on a lead after going 1-0 up inside of one minute, it's, it's stupid. And it's a stupid way for Jose Mourinho to play. And, you know, they showed against Stoke that they can go forwards and they have players who can create. So I don't understand why he always wants to sit back with his teams. Yes, it's his style of play. But after you go forward, you know, you go 1-0 up within a minute. Do you really want to sit there, you know, on a 1-0 lead against Wolves away when you know they will just throw the kitchen sink at you then for 89 minutes you know it's stupid it's stupid from Jose to ex to expect all three points there and it is very very well done from Wolves and that is incredibly the blow that puts Tottenham in fifth instead of fifth third well done instead of third today Liverpool sit at top of the table only three points ahead of Everton now Leicester City who play tomorrow are on 28 points and then you've got Man United and Tottenham Man City sitting sixth now Aston Villa in seventh Chelsea in eighth and uh, yeah that completes the top eight on the Euro European contention but the big the big shocking results from today is Wolves and Tottenham who ended one all. Liverpool West Brom ended one all. it was a lot of draws <laughs> there was a lot of draws and there should have been another but uh, VAR triumphs again, I suppose. So, yeah, there's the wrap-up for today's results. Uh, my reactions and my opinions on all the controversial decisions and all of that jazz. So, we'll be back tomorrow when there's more football. The December madness and fixture pile-up continues. And I'm here for it. So, ta -ra.